Conservative Media Peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Hey, this is the Science Report and Technology Report. And we have to do, uh, uh, report something here that's very, very cool. And, you know, unfortunately, it didn't happen here in America. It happened over in China. And congratulations to our Chinese, uh, I guess, trading partners over there, whatever like that. And I know, it's, it's, you know, they're communist I mean, attention there. Hey, dude, we're trading with the whole world. And we give props to everybody whenever they do well. And that's what I'm talking about right here. Now, here's the thing. This passenger train hits 300 miles an hour. It's a super high speed train. It's going to cut the time between Beijing and Shanghai down to like five hours. And I'm just saying like, hey, props to the Chinese. Good job on doing that, dudes. I mean, you're doing things over there. There's some other uh, uh, trains that were even faster during certain testing. A French train go 357 miles an hour. Uh, a, a Japanese mag maglev train that went 361 miles an hour. But I believe this is, you know, this one for more of extensive tests, whatever. Check the article down there. And, you know... Why can't we do that here in America? Now I know we're talking about stuff and they have the thing between New York and, and Washington that's kind of sort of fast and we just did the bonds here for high speed rail here in California but we need something seriously, seriously fast to help reduce the airflow travel, whatever like that and, and a lot, I mean, dude, we need to get with the whole 21st century. You understand what I'm saying? So I like this. I think it's very cool. There's also a video that we will link to below. You can check that out when they're on the train doing the test. I think it's really hot. I think it's cool. Again, props to the Chinese. I think we should look into doing it here and make sure that it's cost effective, everything like that. But we have to have an intelligent and smart and speedy infrastructure. That's what keeps commerce going on. Hey, for conservative media, that's this, this is the Science and Technology Report, and we'll see you next time.